This is the Ile de France fleece that William brought. And it would be great if um, Anita could, she's arrived and she's gonna unroll it. He, he neatly rolled it up. It's neatly rolled. So Anita, you unroll it and have a good look-see at it. Um, he's, it's, it's, uh, where is it? It's there it well is. Rolled. He's well rolled it. Oh my God. Oh, there it is. Uh, Pull that. It. You take one side and I take the other. There we go. There we go. Okay. He's rolled it beautifully. This is what an unrolled fleece, this is the neck end and it's usually the fleece is then folded and you just roll it out. I'm trying not to break the fleece up too much. Too much, yeah. But um, it Okay, is, that's the, that that's is, the back side. That is the, gorgeous. Is that gorgeous? Good. Now this, the Ile de, de France, this I think originates back as a cross from Rambouillet and Merino. And if it's got merino in it, I've got my gloves on because I'm going shopping. But yes. I'm going to take a glove off because I do want to really feel. Oh, yes. Oh, that is, you can definitely feel it. That is really, really soft. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it was a ram. It was a shearling ram lamb, so that's his first shorn fleece. His first shorn fleece. It's very short. This is going to be fa fabulous for spinning. What is the uh, length? Where's a? It, it, it's it's a, well, uh, there is actually quite a length in it, but there's. It looks like it's no. about what is that? About three inches. Yeah, I'd say that's about se seven, eight centimeters. So it's actually longer than what it actually looks. That is lovely. So you're well pleased with that? I'm well pleased with that. And uh, these greasy bits, d will you do something about these greasy bits or dispose of them? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this one. Now that, that I will dispose of because you can see there's an awful lot of poop in that greasy bit. Okay, so, so that's, that's that's the kind that of stuff will, that you don't want. I don't want. The, what about this there? I will keep because I'll put this in a hot soak, two or three hot soaks. Um, that isn't uh, greasy poop. It's just the lanolin and the actual fleece and the dirt or, uh, and the, the dirt the kind of ambient dirt, dirt of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's here we've got some. Anywhere that there's poop in, we'll try and get out for the simple reason is you may wash it 10 times and it will still want to keep the poop. So we'll clean those. Yeah, look at yeah, that. that. There's a good length in that. There is a good length in that. There's a that, really nice length that in bit, that. I'm at, this here I'm going to get rid of. Because it's got a bit of poop in it. The birds will love this. Yeah. Well, no, so will young trees. So will young trees. Oh, I, ch I think about the birds, Susanna, so I... Other than that, do you know it doesn't need much skirting at all? And the neck it's looks... Just... Uh, will you keep the neck roll? Or will you get rid of the neck no, roll? No, there's too much... You see, it's it's actually felted it almost itself. It, in um, the making yeah, of the neck the roll, roll to yeah. wind the fleece. Yeah, you so, see, that is nearly all... Poop. Which, if that's the neck roll, that's unusual for so much poop to be up the neck. Yeah, because it's usually when you roll the fleece, you start on the uh, the neck end. Here, pull this side. Pull, pull. There. Yeah. So that bit you're going to now get rid of, which is the neck roll. The neck roll. And um, yeah, that seems to me to be such a shame. Yeah, it's a good but, bit of fleece, but there's it's a, a lot of bit poop of in there. But an awful lot of poop in there. So, and I know it from washing other fleeces that I could st wash it ten times and it will still be dirty in the water. That's where you always skirt a fleece as well as you can. Always Here. skirt a fleece to get rid of the poop because you don't want to mix it in the water. No, you just, and what do you, you clean? You what what um, cleaning? 
fluid do you use? There are uh, scouring fluids you can can buy. Um, they're very hard to get over here, so I, I bring them in from abroad. But te technically, what I do is um, very liquid. Just fairy, fairy liquid, liquid lightly, and you... Uh... No, no, a good dump of fairy liquid. Uh, get a big, big tub, one of the, like the green garden tubs yeah or a bin yeah and fill it with hot water really hot water yeah good lot of fairy in there and just start push the fleece in and let it sit there for an hour so you're allowing the the uh, anti-greasy aspect of the fairy liquid to separate so, right. the lanolin from, from the wool. wool that's right then what you do is you get another tub of hot water, but this is where it gets complicated because I don't want it to felt. The next tub needs to have literally the same temperature as the water you're taking the fleece out of to put it into. Okay. And that will again have very liquid in. Okay. Once you start to lift Excuse the Excuse me, uh, we're filming. <laughs> Once you start to lift the fleece out yeah. and put it in another sort of either soak or rinse tub, if you if either you've got huge water temperatures, every time you're moving it, that's when it's going to fe start felting. So if you want to spin it or do anything like that with it, you don't want it felting. So you have to watch your water temperatures right the way through. Sometimes it might take three, four, five big hot tubs. Yeah. Big tubs of water to wash it through and then rinse it. And then once it's, once it's through, that if I'm, if I'm going to felt any of this, then I won't worry. I will actually lay it and felt it still full of the grease. Gotcha. Okay. Great, thank you very, very much, Anita. My pleasure, my pleasure.